Yeah, um, obviously we're not feeling good right now. Um, but you know, besides the, that game, uh, I, I couldn't. Be, I, I had so much fun coaching our group here the last three weeks, um, and what they decided to try to do, and, and how we came together, um, and went on a great run. Um, I think I don't know if we won six in a row or seven, but really good teams that we were able to beat in a row with our backs against the wall at the conference tournament. We had to, we were in. You have to win to move to play again uh, for six straight games. Um, and uh, I was just really impressed with, uh, with, with our players and how they stayed focused in that and, and really played unselfishly and had some of the best on the floor chemistry that, that I've been around and seen uh, you know, at Emporia State. So that's something we're really, really proud of. Questions for players and coaches? I mean, I really felt I saw the red light go off before his arm went up. That's what I thought. Um, you know, whether it was a foul or not, I don't know. Laura was on the ground and it was a turnaround shot, so. You know, I don't know. They called it on 11. She was laying on the ground, so I'm not sure, you know, how she fouled. Um, you just, you know, you hate to have it in like that. They had the ball under with six seconds and missed a shot. We got the stop, um, you know, and then you know, she flails the shot up there and gets to shoot two shots. You know, that's, uh, you can tell us we should have got the rebound, I guess. Um, but that's, I don't want to talk about that play very much. Uh, Brianna, talk a little bit about the defensive pressure you guys put on in the second half. <coughs> several uh, big threes kind of going that run in the first half. In the second half, you guys kept their shooters a lot more off balance and they held them in check. Yeah, our transition defense wasn't very good the first half. We didn't hold threes off. Um, we didn't hold them to a goal at all. The last, I think, five minutes maybe of the first half, kind of got settled down. And we came out better the second half playing defense, but um, I feel like you know the shot went up at the end. Good defensive possession. You know, we kind of missed a shot. So. Marissa, the effort and the emotion it takes to come back in a game like this is is obviously monumental to have it in that way how, how brutal is that i mean obviously it sucks no one wants to lose no one wants to lose in a championship game no one wants their season to end especially when it ends like that in a controversial call jordy you alluded to it in your brief statement to just talk about the fact that you know after those two tough losses at home I believe it is seven in a row that you guys went off and that your team went on to win. Um, just, you know, people are wondering how you guys fit the NIAA tournament, just to heat up, just how big that stretch been. Here you are in the original championship game, and people are wondering how you would fare in the conference tournament you know, three weeks ago. Well, I mean, uh, you know, I don't know exactly. You'd have to ask these guys what it was specifically that you know, made us decide to start playing. I, I believed in us all year long. I was really, you know, when we lost in here last year, uh, same locker room, we, you know, we lost to Pittsburgh State, and I told our team, man, I, I love what we have coming back. We were young, and I expected us to have be in this game again. Um, now, our season didn't get off to a very good start, and it wasn't looking that great. Uh, it started second semester, but, you know, sometimes it's a little bit sweeter when you have some adversity. Um, and, and and then you get it going after that, and you just have more recognition of what it takes. And I just think, you know, our players um, decided they wanted to, to get it going and have a chance of doing something. Um, and, you know, it was a fun run, uh, you know, this last couple weeks. And uh, it just, you know, it's awful that it has to end. Some of us just, I don't know, I think there's a lot of confidence, a lot of mental, you know, thinking um, we can 
do it, you know, just having confidence in each other, do it for each other, that no one can stop us if we don't want them to. Let me say really quickly, just talk about Laura. Um, and Laura had also a big game in that second half when we were coming back, just a lot of those threes. Just talk about the, what she brought to the team this year, and especially like, in the last couple of games, just how she's helped you guys out. Laura's a great player. She's one of the best players on her team. We've known that all year. She's played like that all year. So she just makes big plays when she needs to. It's definitely who she is. Anything else? Jory, uh, I caught your um, post-championship game MIAA speech in the locker room talking about putting something back, you know, putting a big bag of cash in. Um, Obviously, season's not ending how you like it to, but can you look back at this season and, and say, you know, hey, I've, I've started to put my stamp on this program? Well, you know, we talk at the start of the season, the first time we do thing we do at our first team meeting is talk about our program is bigger than any one person, player, coach, anything. I mean, Emporia State women's basketball is its own thing. Um, and, you know, when you're involved in it now, you know, as assistant coach, head coach, player, whatever, you feel responsible uh, for having success um, and trying to keep up with all the past success that you have. And that's, you know, it's a lot of pressure, uh, you know, for everybody involved because you want it so bad. Um, and, you know, I think uh, obviously this year, definitely, I feel like we put some money in the bank. Um, you know, the, the MIAA Conference Tournament Championship is something that, that we haven't won in 10 years. Uh, never won it since it's been in Kansas City. It was a great three-game tournament for us, um, and, you know, and then to come here and, and make a Sweet 16 round again uh, and have an opportunity right there to go to the Elite Eight, you know, I feel uh, I'm, I'm pleased. Obviously, when we were seven and six, it wasn't any fun, and we didn't, we didn't look very good. But what we did after that um, is, is nothing but positive, and I think I'm excited about next year already. Uh, I know what we got coming back, and I know what we got coming in. Uh, I know who we have sitting out. Uh, this year, and we should be a pretty darn good team next year. Anything else?